check the description box below and don't forget to hit that like button. Hello guys and goddesses, Coco here with your Coco from the Dark podcast where we connect with the most high, our emotions, and the innermost parts of ourselves that tries to elude us at every turn. This is a space of not only connecting and healing, but also to give you the confirmations and the answers that you've been seeking. So thank you so much for being here with me and thank you for being willing to connect with you. Namaste. The channel song that I got today was Need a Favor by Jelly Roll. If you don't know that song, if you don't know that man, that artist, <laughs> get with it because he is the truth. Okay, so you are either wearing a lot of black or being guided to wear black at this time. Me too. <laughs> Engage in protective practices, especially for mental and emotional protection. There is either incoming or lingering negative energetic attacks. So I feel like there is going to be, um, I don't want to say an influx, but I want to say an influx. But there is some negative energies coming in to try to throw your energy off, throw your vibration off. Uh, I'm getting like traffic jams and people cutting you off in traffic, people driving slow in front of you after they just jumped in front of you, um, long lines in the drive through or in the store, like things that are just th that are going to mess with your patience and mess with you remaining in a calm and joyful energy. <sighs> Be not dismayed is what came up. You are abundant and very much so in an abundant energy. Don't be fooled out of your higher vibration. A message of people who can manifest good jobs. So it's like, I feel like these are people around you. People who can manifest good jobs, nice cars. They have a lot of luck and, and money, getting money. Yet they are horrible at sustaining these things. Your story is not theirs. You will manifest mass abundance and sustain it because of all that you've gone through on your journey and all that you have and are learning in this gestation period. So gestation, you know, was in quotations. And like I always say, if you've been following me for a while, you know, when we get to quotations, that is um, a message from the most high to trigger some sort of confirmation or something within you. Uh, it says, keep going, remain positive and hopeful. And please know if you dream of someone, even if these are people you don't speak to anymore, you're not connected with anymore. It doesn't matter if you dream of someone, they are definitely dreaming of you, thinking of you or speaking of you. It says to be mindful of the dream and how often these dreams of these people come about because within these dreams, it'll let you know if they're, you know, re referring to you in a negative way or a positive way and how often they are speaking your name. So those are all of the downloaded messages that I got. So let's get to, let's see what channel messages we get right now i feel guided to my shells i haven't reused them in a, in a little minute i'm hearing that song dream 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 dream, dream. Y'all hear that train? That feels that train. That feels so positive. That that feels like positive energy. It feels like a confirmation of something. It feels like then then, then y'all remember um in one of the podcast episodes very recently we would hear a, a train horn. And that would be confirmation of something. So <laughs> I hope y'all heard it. 
Because it's not just confirmation for me. It's confirmation for you as well. Okay. So let's see. I want to pull a couple of cards before I channel these messages from these shells that I got. I'm here. I'm hearing that song. Uh, we used to be in school. Let me move this because I'm going to hit my chest and I don't want to hit loud me out here. Is it loud? We're moving it. It's like computer love. Is it still loud? It's like. <laughs> but computer love, who is it? I can't remember who sings it, but computer love. You know I've been searching for someone. Ooh. I feel like um, I'm getting the vibes of like pen pals, like talking and falling for one another. But I also keep picking up on that message that somebody admires you and they watch your social media, but they don't they don't speak up on it yet. So I'm picking up on both of those. But computer love. Computer love. It says, take care of yourself. Trust that if you do, you'll always land on your feet. And upgrade your mental software. The letter C may be significant. The crown chakra and the root chakra. The colors purple and red may be significant. Weeping willows are also significant. I'm seeing a lighthouse. Someone may, may live, I'm here, live near the bay or the bay area or live by the water, on the water, near the water or need to go near the water. Cats may be significant. Something about a boat. I'm hearing cruise. Cruise ship. I just heard, take your time to free your mind. Free your mind. And the rest will follow. Let's see. <laughs> I'm hearing be in silence. So what I'm feeling right now, I feel someone like relaxing near the water. Um, someone could be sunbathing or not but i just i feel an energy of like laying down relaxing near some water or in some water i feel really i don't know i feel giggly i'm not giggling but i am smiling I, but i feel really giggly right now I, i'm hearing mimosa Somebody, y'all having drinks by the water and I ain't invite me a wit. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> I just, I just heard treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I heard, I don't, be involved or get involved. Be involved or get involved. And then I'm hearing like in your own healing. Connect with your inner child. I'm seeing like a kite. I'm hearing jet skiing. I'm hearing, I'm seeing someone like parasailing. I think that's what it's called. Is it parasailing? Someone must be going on vacation or, or needing a vacation. I just heard Pinterest board.
I don't know why they want to be on my ear today, y'all. So I'm hearing listen closely. So I, I'm feeling like it's a message for the collector to listen closely for something or to something. Listen closely. I'm also hearing to read in between the lines. Something about the full moon coming up. It's also going to be a um, lunar eclipse. It's going to be a blood moon lunar eclipse, I think on the 28th. It's a great time for manifesting. It's a great time for clearing out old stagnant energy. It's a great time for starting new routines. It's a good time also for connecting to the most high, to the universe, to nature, and to yourself. I'm hearing be aggressive, be, be aggressive. But I'm hearing be aggressive in your healing, in your self-love, in your self-care. Be aggressive. And, I, and it's not like be aggressive like, grr. it's like be aggressive like, be adamant about your self-care routine or some sort of self-love practice. Like, don't let anyone um, interfere with it. Not even yourself. Plums. Is this still plum season? Or the color plum? So we're going to kind of back to purple a little, a little bit. Plum is kind of a mixture of red and purple, right? I just heard <laughs> indentured servant. I don't even remember what that means. I know that phrase, but I don't even remember what that means. So something about an indentured servant. It makes me want to stop recording and Google it because I don't know what I did with my phone. I'm hearing st start somewhere and stop stopping. I'm, I'm feeling like there is something that's like you, you may be the type of person that isn't always, not never, but you, you aren't always consistent with um, a daily practice or a daily routine outside of, you know, like the norm, like <laughs> bathing and brushing your teeth and stuff. So I'm hearing to stop stopping. And I'm hearing be aggressive with it. I keep hearing you got to start somewhere. I'm also hearing that message that if you mean to do something for 30 days, right? And you get to like day seven and you fall off for a day or two. Don't start over. Just continue where you left off. Don't do like seven days and then you stop for, for like, even if you stop for a week, go when you start back, go to eight. Don't go back to one. It'll keep you motivated. But I'm also hearing to, to also add more days on the back end. So if you said 30 days and you took that week off, make it 37. <laughs> not add text <laughs> yeah okay okay so we need some more out of this deck drink your water Couldn't, I'm not I'm not advertising but I'm, I'm advertising water drink your water connect with those emotions because I really feel my mouth is dry I mean since I stopped playing computer. Since I stopped playing computer love. Have I flashed you? <laughs> Cause I ain't think about it. Hold on. Okay, I think we good. I hate when I be like <laughs> big gulping in y'all ear. <laughs> 
but drink your water. And also, don't forget to check out my uh, workbook journal of affirmations called High Sucking Drake. The link is in the description box. The color red is constantly coming up. I feel like there's an energy. I know I'm saying like gold, like gold, the gold bricks. There's like some sort of financial abundance that is in your energy that is coming forward to you. And you are being guided to, excuse me, thank you. I'm hearing something about, I, I'm hearing like money market accounts. Like invest some of this money. I know that, um, you know, we have bills. We have things we have to take care of first. But after you handle what you need to handle, invest some of that money. Save some of that money. Um, I'm also hearing that. You know, when you when you finally get, you know, money after being uh, strapped for cash or like having to like penny pinch or maybe living paycheck to paycheck, when you get a lump sum of money or when you get an increase of finances, you have a tendency to want to like splurge and like go out and buy things for yourself and maybe other people. I feel like the guidance that you are receiving at this time is not to do that. Um, I do feel like you can, it's like, how do I say this? Because spirit is saying like, okay, you can spend a little bit on yourself, on yourself, not other people, but yourself. Because there's this energy of needing to like pamper the inner child. But don't. I don't know how to word it because the way that it's coming to me, it's coming to me like a like a, a vision. And it's like children don't really require like a large. Well, back in back in my day when I was a kid, it, it didn't take a lot. To make us happy like now kids want iphones and ipads and all that's different think back to think back years ago like maybe before the internet and all of this stuff when it's like the simple pleasures so yes invest in indulge in the simple pleasures for yourself to you know pamper that inner child but don't overdo it because there will be a time period when you can but it's not now so, yeah. Is that all for this stick? Oh. <laughs> no. I'm feeling this energy. I feel like you need to meditate. Like, if we're just being honest, I feel like you need to meditate. I, I feel like you need to connect with your, your inner child. You need to connect with your higher self and your present self. They all need to like work together. And the way to do this is by meditating. Um, there's like some information in the divine realm that is trying to reach you. But it's like it's speaking to these different parts of you and from these different parts of you. So you need to connect with these different parts of you in order to connect with the message. I feel like this is going to assist you in some way. Um, I'm hearing something about sustainability. Like like we were saying, like you are you may have seen people who go out and they splurge and then everything that they got is gone just like that. But you are not going to be in that space. You are going to be in a space of like overflow and sustainability where these things are. It's just going to keep coming in for you like this. And it's going to take I'm not going to say a lot of hard work, but I feel like that's what I'm hearing. It's going to take a lot of hard work or maybe consistency 
and faith that this thing is going to continue to come in. You don't have to like do everything in the beginning or do everything all at once. You can like take your time to do these things because, you know, a lot of times when you, I'm not saying that you grew up in lack or scarcity. I'm just relaying the messages. So a lot of times when you grow up in a scarcity mindset and then you come into some sort of abundance, the first thing you think is I want as much as I can handle because I'm so used to not having that choice. So it's like trying to get out of that mindset and pace yourself, you know, moderation. I'm even getting um, something about drinking. Drinking that's coming up has come up in the past two readings. So there may be like some sort of celebratory energy or something where there will be like some toasting, some bottles popping or something. But I feel as though the Most High wants you to really ration um any type of like drinking or indulgences that you may have at this time, because there is some sort of doorway or gateway that is also opening at this time when abundance is open to us. It's abundant. It's, it's, it's going to be abundance in all forms. And this could be positive and negative. And in order to combat the negativity you have to be sure to like kind of filter through the things. And if you like overindulge, overindulgences usually, you know, flow into greed and things like that. And greed, you know, can become a negative. Okay, you follow me. So it's like being mindful. Um, yes, the Most High wants you to enjoy yourself. The Most High wants you to live your life. The Most High wants you to like really revel in the abundances, but you don't, it's, it's not the time right now for like the, the splurging and things like that. Right now is the time for healing because this feels like the abundance that's coming in for you is something that is new, not just for you, but also like, um, like close family members or like your immediate family or something like that. And it's like giving like that first millionaire type of vibe. It don't have to be that, that mass amount of money, but it's like this, this energy of the people closest to you don't have this type of abundance and it's coming in for you. So it's going to take you getting acclimated in this phase, this next phase, in this abundant phase. I just heard a message from, um, I think it was Tyler Perry. And he was saying that when he made his first million, it went just like that because he felt so pressured to repay all of the people that, you know, played a large part in his life and things like that. And his advice was to not do that. Like, wait until you are like so abundant that it's overflowing. Like you don't have to do it with that first uh, few thousand or that first hundred thousand or that first million. You, you do it once you get grounded in the abundance that you're in. And if it's not financial, what whatever this abundance is for you, you don't have to pour it out to others until you feel comfortable in that space, until you get through, you know, the adjustment period of having this abundance because you don't want it to run out. You want it to overflow where it's, it's feel, you're filled up and you are blessing others through your overflow. So that's that message. Dang, I've been talking for 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to get one more message and then I'm going to do a love message. I need some more water. That message really dried my mouth out. <laughs> I'm listening to um, Singing Bowl. So, you might want to indulge in some Singing Bowls or some um, some frequency sounds 
or even like the gray noise, the pink noise, the white noise, the brown noise. Is it another? I think it's like some orange noise, black noise. It's so many. Oh, you know, the first time I heard about these noises was white noise and that was a scary movie i think it was like like a scary movie or a sci-fi thriller or something and then after i seen that i just was not interested in noises because <laughs> i was like mm -mm. <laughs> not me but you know that was when that was years ago so whenever that movie came out that's when i was like mm -mm. but now now that i have connected more with the spirit realm i, I don't mind white noise at all I don't know about the movie. I haven't seen the movie since then, but <laughs> but the sounds. I I can't remember. I had a favorite because I, I only like tried all of them. I did not like really like. But I like was it the brown noise? It was one of them where I just really felt like a sort of relief, like in my crown area it's like it, it was like amazing I, I don't even know why why would i not remember i probably favored it favorited it <laughs> but try that out connect with those sounds or you know like the, those hertz the 432 and the 8 hertz 8 hertz i just discovered myself just recently so i feel like this feels like this. The message that's coming out feels like, excuse me, you are going to be in like hermit mode again. Excuse me, thank you, or longer, because this, this is this time right now. You need to be pouring into yourself. It's it feels like a time of like a lot of self love, a lot of self care, a lot of healing like really pouring into the self the things that maybe you felt like you lacked in your childhood or things that maybe you feel like you lack now, but pouring into yourself. This feels like a self fool, not self fish or self list, but a self fool time. It feels like connecting with the self is very important in this part of your journey protecting your energy keeping your energy clean and clear and under control <laughs> and you know just staying high vibrational as high vibrational as possible that's the energy that i'm getting i see someone like watching the sunrise or the sunset like really really for real connecting out in nature rainbows may be significant Mountains may be significant. I'm also hearing clouds that look like mountains. The very first time that I traveled with alone, I think it was in like 08. And <laughs> I went to California. And I took so many pictures. We went, it was like a mountainous area. I took so many pictures of the mountains and the uh, clouds, y'all. <laughs> You would have thought I was a kid. You had went through my camera roll. You say, uh, so you went to <laughs> you went to California and all you saw was clouds and mountains. <laughs> and it wasn't like far off mountains. It was like we were driving past the mountains and I'm just taking pictures of like you just see wall rock wall. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. I don't even know why I brought that story up. But anyway, I really definitely see a lot of alone time right now. I feel like you are like in this gestation period. You are in like um, a growing waiting period. But as you are within this space, there are things going on behind the scenes that are like really building this strong foundation for this next level of your life. So these things... I'm hearing they may be coming in slow or they may have been coming in slow for you, but it's like, it's going to be worth it. When it gets here, you're going to be like, that was worth the wait. It was most definitely worth the wait. I feel like there is going to be some sort of recognition in your energy. There's going to be something that people are going to know you for specifically or notice about you. It's, 
I feel a lot of abundance coming into you. There's something you're going to be writing, something you need to write, some story you need to tell. I feel like right now in this point, especially like right now, there are some roots that are being planted. I'm like seeing like, you know how they do a time lapse of a seed growing. That's what I'm seeing. But it's like the roots are spreading. The seed has already come out and all of that good stuff. It's like the, but the roots are spreading out and the plant is breaking through the soil. I keep hearing gestation period. So let's get to the love messages. Hold on, y'all. I'm hearing that song. I don't want to be anything other than what I've been trying to be lately. I'm hearing that song. I don't want to be anything other than me. I don't know if those are the words, but. The number four could be significant. I'm hearing Luther Vandross. I just saw three, four, five. So obviously, ooh, this is a message for the singles. It's like right now you're single, <laughs> but not much longer. I say not much longer. <laughs> it feels like right now while you're single, you're meant to be like pouring into yourself. So it's still that message of like pouring love into yourself, pouring into yourself all of the things, like I said, that you want to receive buying yourself flowers buying your favorite foods or something like that but in moderation i don't know i don't know why moderation is coming up i feel like for some of you you are in a space where your finances aren't where you want them to be so I, I, I don't know. I keep hearing penny pension. I was hearing penny pension earlier, but did I say it? I don't know. I didn't want to say it. So if I said it, it just came out. But I didn't want to say it because I don't know. I, I feel like people get offended by you calling them penny pensions. And I don't want to offend you, but I just feel like there's this energy of like really saving or just all your money goes to like life <laughs> instead of living life. Like it goes to paying for life, you know, like bills, but you see, you're still being guided to pour into yourself. So maybe like create a savings for, I was telling my best friend is, um, uh, cause she likes to get massages. And, um, I was like, well, you know, make a savings account just for, massages and things like that that you can get every so often so like maybe doing that like if you have like an extra five ten twenty dollars or however much extra you have after paying your bills or something set it aside for um massages or your favorite foods or you know a bouquet of flowers or something that you really want but I don't know, but I, <laughs> how did Mrs. get in the love? I, I get, okay, because we were talking about self love. Because I say, like, but anyway, I feel like someone wants to make the effort to like really wine and dine you and romance you. I feel like someone is gonna come in very unexpectedly, very much so unexpectedly. But it's, of course, it, you know, it's always divinely orchestrated. I feel like it's going to take for you to, like, open yourself up 
to opportunities to be receptive of them because this person they're gonna come out of nowhere it's gonna catch you off guard you're gonna be taken aback by this energy that comes in for you i just keep hearing be receptive be receptive use your discernment yo <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is that something you need to speak up about? Because I've been real thirsty in this 35 minutes of recording. This card right here. I'm hearing parental figures. What episode was it? Was that 43? I don't know. There was something about parental figures interfering in a love life. And it's coming up again. I feel like there's this energy of like someone growing up with their parental figures not being the best examples of love. And they're healing from what they viewed as love then. And it's like what they saw then and what they know now or what they want now is totally different so someone is healing from this mindset of how their parental figures loved each other and i keep doing this because maybe the the, the love that they were showing one another was very toxic or if it wasn't toxic it was like they were more like i'm, I'm picking up they were like not emotional they were just like, it was like they were roommates, basically. Not very emotional or loving towards one another. So someone is like healing from not really knowing what love really looks like. They're healing from that. I feel as though you're showing them what love really looks like. You're making them feel feelings that, you know how when you go to the gym and you work out, you start, especially if you're a beginner, you start working muscles there. You probably even not know you hate it. <laughs> and your body like, what what's going on? So it's like they're using muscles, love muscles that they didn't even know existed. And it's because of you. All because of you. Ooh, you're the love of my life. And I was doing wrong, but I want to be right, girl. Who is that? Marcus Houston. All because of you. So that song may be significant for someone. But whatever this love connection that's coming in, it's going to be worth the wait. I feel like also it's going to be worth the wait for this person who hasn't really experienced real love. Maybe you haven't experienced real love either, but it's going to be worth the wait. It's like <laughs> you've seen you've seen the rest, now see the best or something. <laughs> something. I don't know, something about what, but <laughs> anyway, that is your message. <laughs> I send you all so much love and light, and I thank you all for being here for episode. I always have to look big. Hold on. It's the fact that I ain't even write it down this time. I just started writing notes. I ain't even write down what episode it was. Episode 46 <laughs> of Coco from the Dark podcast. Dang, y'all. 46. Aww. I'm so proud of me. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Um, connect with your feelings, connect with your emotions, up your protective practices. I'm, I'm hearing again to get out in nature, connect with, with nature, get you some, um, have you some spiritual baths or have you just a nice long hot bath or shower, like really get in that water, connect with the water and stay in there just a little bit longer than you usually stay in there. You know, like just lengthen it out a little bit. Um, get you a daily routine, some sort of daily practice and stay motivated. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. Namaste. <laughs>